والآن الحضور الكرام نستمع إلى كلمة الدكتور جهانكير خان مدير مركز مواجهة الإرهاب بالأمم المتحدة فليتفضل To the distinguished eminent personalities from around the world, Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim. It is my great honor to join you today. I would like to once again thank His Eminence, Dr. Shoki Alam, the Grand Mufti of Egypt, and the President of the Supreme Council of the General Secretariat of the Fatwa Authorities worldwide and the government of Egypt for the kind invitation to the United Nations to address this important event and to congratulate the organizers of this conference for the excellent arrangements and warm welcome and hospitality extended to all of us. I also wish to convey to you the warm greetings of His Excellency the Secretary General of the United Nations Mr. Antonio Guterres and the Under Secretary General of the United Nations for Counterterrorism, Mr. Vladimir Voronkov, to all the distinguished participants. And I wish to congratulate Dar al Iftar on launching this excellent Salam Center of Extremism Studies here today in Cairo. I commend your vision for the Salam Center and your efforts to prevent and counter violent extremism to enhance international cooperation on countering terrorism and encourage the exchange of international good practices in the prevention and countering of violent extremism. I would also like to note that our United Nations Office of Counterterrorism, a long-standing good relationship with the Arab Republic of Egypt and highlight the important role that the Arab Republic of Egypt has played in driving international cooperation and attention and action towards proactive and countering of terrorist narratives. More specifically, I wish to congratulate the Arab Republic of Egypt's contribution and leading role in the development of the Arab counterterrorism strategy, which was recently adopted by consensus by the Arab Interior Ministers' Council in Tunis in March of this year. This new Arab regional counterterrorism strategy, which was developed with the technical support of our United Nations Counterterrorism Center, is a significant achievement for the Arab states and demonstrates the region's leadership, and in particular Egypt's significant role and important contribution to the prevention and countering of terrorism and violent extremism across the whole world. Today's launch of the Salam Center comes at a critical time. The threat posed by terrorism and violent extremism to international peace and security continues. The interplay between terrorism, violent extremism, and armed conflict and the threat of regional spillover is a strategic challenge, whilst online terrorist radicalization and recruitment and attacks inspired by terrorist groups remain a foremost concern. Terrorist groups have continued their efforts to operationalize communication campaigns, exploiting socio-economic hardships 
grievances and political tensions which have often been exacerbated by the recent COVID-19 pandemic. Concerns over terrorist exploitation of social media, including gaming adjacent platforms, have been confounded during this time. Distinguished representatives and delegates, in response to the dynamic nature of this evolving threat, the United Nations promotes and supports multilateral action and international cooperation and has built a strategic architecture to ensure counterterrorism programming remains coherent and impactful. Sixteen years ago, in 2006, the United Nations General Assembly adopted the United Nations Global Counterterrorism Strategy by consensus with the support of all governments, including the Arab Republic of Egypt. Throughout its subsequent revisions, the United Nations Global Counterterrorism Strategy not only continues to send a clear message that terrorism is unacceptable in all its forms and manifestations, but it also guides us on a practical steps that we need to take individually and collectively to prevent and combat violent extremism across the world. Importantly, the United Nations Global Counterterrorism Strategy recognizes the need for such measures to be grounded in the rule of law and the respect of fundamental human rights. Further, we must also acknowledge the significant shift in strategic focus that the United Nations Secretary General was able to drive through the adoption of the United Nations Plan of Action to prevent and counter violent extremism by the United Nations General Assembly. In the last five years, we have seen the UN Plan of Action to prevent violent extremism ensure that the United Nations system architecture takes a more comprehensive whole of United Nations, whole of society, and whole of government approach to addressing the conditions conducive to the spread of violent extremism and terrorism. This includes the strengthening of action to address conditions conducive to violent extremism, strengthening human rights protection and the rule of law, ensuring that young people, that the youth and women are effectively engaged, and ensuring that civil society has a voice and role in the prevention of extremism. Through this, we have also seen the importance of drawing in religious leaders as key influential partners in countering the appeal of terrorist recruitment tactics and techniques. And I congratulate the Arab Republic of Egypt and the Salam Center for bringing together so many eminent religious leaders from the, across the Arab and Islamic world here today at this conference. Engaging religious leaders to provide a platform for intra and interfaith dialogue and discussions helps promote tolerance and understanding between communities and provides the basis for the rejection of violent extremism. Religious leaders play a critical role in grounding our efforts in peaceful and humanitarian values inherent in their theologies directly into communities who may concurrently be receiving the inverse or negative narratives of hate and division from terrorists and violent extremists. The United Nations Counterterrorism Center, which I lead, focuses on building global capacities to address these threats of violent extremism. The United Nations Counterterrorism Center has a global program to prevent and counter violent extremism, helping governments, regional organizations, civil society to build resilience and technical capacity to re reduce the risk of terrorism and violent extremism. The support to member states 
and governments on regional, national and local prevention and countering of violent extremism plans of action remains a priority for our United Nations Counterterrorism Center. The new Arab Regional Counterterrorism Strategy, which was adopted recently on the 2nd of March in Tunis and developed with the support of our United Nations Counterterrorism Center, specifically promotes the importance of compliance with human rights and the rule of law and highlights the role of religious leaders and scholars as well as civil society actors in addressing the conditions conducive to the spread of terrorism and violent extremism. Top-down policies are critically important in preventing and countering violent extremism, but what remains a fundamental challenge is how do we fight the battle of hearts and minds to discredit extremist terrorist narratives and counter with alternative positive narratives of resilience and cohesion. Counter narratives have long been a key element of the Arab Republic of Egypt's counterterrorism agenda. The Arab Republic of Egypt was very committed to initiating global action on when taking over the presidency of the Security Council in May of 2017, concurrently with its chairmanship of the United Nations Counterterrorism Committee. The Arab Republic of Egypt introduced United Nations Security Council Resolution 2354 to the Security Council in May 27, which was the first Security Council resolution on counter-narratives to combat violent extremism. This United Nations Security Council resolution was truly groundbreaking as it addresses the importance of both counter and alternative positive narratives while also establishing a framework to enhance international cooperation in this regard. In its guidance, the United Nations Security Council emphasized that efforts to counter terrorist narratives can benefit through engagement with a wide range of actors, including youth, families, women, religious, cultural and educational leaders, and other concerned groups of civil society. And as part of our United Nations Global Program on the Prevention and Countering of Violent Extremism, our United Nations Counterterrorism Center is working to equip young religious leaders and young media makers with the technical campaign skills to effectively counter terrorist narratives. This project, which we call the Empowering Interfaith Dialogue Network, EDEN, is run in partnership with the United Nations Alliance of Civilizations and focuses on fostering positive interfaith dialogue and countering terrorist misuse of religion through impactful communication capabilities. We are pleased to report that we have been able to harness Egypt's expertise in this area through our lead project facilitator who is a facu faculty member of the eminent Al-Azhar University here in Cairo. Communication strategies alone will not win us the battle of hearts and minds. We must also do all we can to reduce the conditions conducive to the spread of terrorism and violent extremism. This is why the United Nations is absolutely committed to protecting and promoting human rights and gender in our efforts to prevent and counter violent extremism. Our collective efforts against terrorism and violent extremism can simply not succeed if they undermine human rights and the rule of law and sustainable development and peace building. The opening today of the Salam Center denotes is yet another important piece of this global counter-narrative effort which the Arab Republic of Egypt is again leading. The, our United Nations Office of Counterterrorism stands ready to start dialogue and to work closely with the Salam Center on how we can increase our collective impact against the narratives of terrorists and violent extremism. Today's opening of the Salam Center is the first step in what I know will be an important mutually beneficial relationship 
between the United Nations Office of Counterterrorism and the Salam Center, a relationship that will go beyond engagement on prevention and will have relevance and impact across the spectrum of counterterrorism issues. Once again, distinguished delegates, I wish success to the Salam Center and thank you all for, my, for inviting me today to address you. Thank you very much.